Luella St. Clair proved to be a pivotal figure for Christian Female College, serving as president and co-president of the institution intermittently for nearly 30 years. She is celebrated today for her contributions to education, politics, and women's rights at the turn of the 20th century. Luella Wilcox was born in Verdon, Illinois on June 25, 1865. She was the only girl to finish in the high school's first graduating class, of which she was named its valedictorian. After graduation, Luella went on to attend Hamilton College in Kentucky. In 1886, she married Franklin P. St. Clair. In 1893, Franklin was selected to be president of Christian Female College, now Columbia College, and the young couple with their daughter Anna Lee moved from Colorado to Columbia, Missouri. Just six months later, Franklin died of heart-related complications. The board then entrusted Luella, an experienced educator full of energy and drive, with the role of president. Luella's first term as president from 1893 to 1897 was marked by several achievements. She oversaw the creation of the college magazine, The Christian College Chronicle. Luella also changed the standard uniform, adopting a black woolen academic robe and three-cornered mortar board with two tassels. Luella also expanded academic programs at the college, including the School of Modern Languages and the School of Music in 1894. A presidency precipitated by the death of her husband, her first years in office were also marked by tragedy. After Franklin's death, Luella relied on her father, Seymour Borden Wilcox, for advice and encouragement. However, he died suddenly in the middle of her first term. After three years in office, Luella became very ill and began to rely on her close friendship with Emma Frederick Moore. Emma took over as president until Luella's health returned in 1899. Returning to Christian College in 1899 as co-president with Emma Moore, Luella's continued presidency brought about the construction of St. Clair Hall in 1900, a building originally named in honor of her husband, Franklin. However, Luella always saw the building as a tribute to her 12-year-old daughter, Anna Lee, who died the same year of its completion of inflammatory rheumatism. Today, it also represents Luella's many contributions to the college. This second term of leadership also brought the introduction of the enduring Ivy Chain Ceremony in 1900. By 1903, Emma Moore assumed full responsibility of the presidency, remaining close friends with Luella, who left Christian Female College to become the president of her alma mater. Luella returned to assume the presidency of Christian Female College once again in 1909. Her third and final term as president lasted until 1920 and was marked by much growth. She continued to make changes to academics and student programs during this time. The college became one of the first formally recognized junior colleges in the nation, and in 1914, she supervised the creation of the Student Government Association. In 1910, Dorsey Hall was constructed through a challenge grant insured by Andrew Carnegie of Carnegie Steel Company and included classrooms, a gymnasium, and a chapel. In 1912, in honor of former college president Joseph Kirtley Rogers, Luella oversaw construction of the iconic Rogers Memorial Gate that still welcomes all who enter campus today. Closing out her presidency in 1920, Missouri Hall was constructed as a dormitory and home economics laboratory. Luella remarried in 1912 to Dr. Woodson Moss, a physician and prominent member of the community. They were married in Dorsey Chapel with the entire student body in attendance against a backdrop of stained glass dedicated to the memory of Luella's late daughter, Annalee. Following her resignation in 1920, the trustees named Luella the first President Emeritus, a title she shares only with Dr. Gerald T. Bruder, who resigned in July of 2013. In her retirement, Luella turned her attention to politics and women's issues, especially after the passage of the Female Suffrage Amendment in 1920. As a charter member of the Women's Democratic Club in Columbia, in 1920, Luella began her campaign for the U.S. Congress to represent the 8th Congressional District of Missouri, which included Boone County. She won the primary and became the first female candidate from Missouri to run for national office. Despite the loss of her second husband a month before the election, Luella, as always, forged ahead. Though she lost the election to her Republican opponent, Sidney Roach, she did win Boone County. Luella remained actively involved in education reform. In 1922, she became the first woman to serve on the Columbia Board of Education. She also became the first woman to serve on education boards at the local, state, and national levels. Luella Wilcox St. Clair Moss died in Columbia, Missouri on August 18, 1947. Today, she is honored with tablets at the Missouri State Capitol and the national headquarters of the League of Women Voters in Washington, D.C. She is also remembered in many ways on the Columbia College campus, which she so diligently served.